Hello everyone out there still remote learning. Today's video is going to look a little different because I have to use a Wacom tablet to draw on it because what happens to come in today is a trig problem. Let's go ahead and read what it says. It says you are standing on a footbridge that's 12 feet above a lake. You look down and see a duck in the water. The duck is seven feet away from the footbridge and it wants to know what is the angle of elevation from the duck to you. And then we're going to round our answer to the nearest tenth. Okay, so quick key here. If as soon as you see something like you're standing on this and you look down or you look up at a building, you're dealing with right triangle trigonometry. So most important thing to do here is to draw what we have. So what we have here, and if I can get my mouse, there it is. All right, so you're standing up here, let's say on a footbridge. So this is the footbridge and you're over here. My drawing is terrible. Remember guys, I never taught geometry. And down here below is the water. So how far down below? Well, 12 feet. So we're going to label that 12 feet. And I'm going to go ahead and make the water blue. Whoops, almost picked green. So down here you've got some water, right? A little water that you're looking at. And it says seven feet from the footbridge. So seven feet from this footbridge, and bring it down a little closer, is a duck. Not even going to attempt to draw a duck. This asterisk will be the duck. And it's seven feet away from this bridge. Okay, so even though my drawing doesn't look like it's perpendicular, let's assume that the engineers knew what they were doing and that this bridge is in fact perpendicular. So what you're going to see now is that we have a right triangle. And again, anytime a problem says you're looking down at something or looking up at something, chances are it's going to be a right triangle trigonometry problem. So let's go ahead and finish this triangle. Okay, all right, we're going to move the duck over here now. All right, here's the duck. Maybe I'll erase this first one that's a little confusing now. Wow, that was a big eraser. Okay, so we finished our triangle. We've got seven feet. We've got a hypotenuse there. All right, so we have right triangle trigonometry that we're going to work with, which means we are going to be working with Sokotoa. So here is my handwriting for this. Uh, it's not getting better, not getting worse. So Toa. Hopefully you know Sokotoa. This means sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So now we have to figure out what we're actually dealing with. So let's look at the two angles we're given. There's two angles. We're not talking about the right angle, right? We know the right angle is right there. So we have two acute angles. This one right here. So this is going to be our angle of elevation. It elevates from the ground up. It is the duck looking up at you. What is the angle of elevation from the duck to you? So the duck is beneath you. It's looking up. That's an angle of elevation. If it asked for the angle of depression from you to the duck, that would be this angle here. You are looking down. It is an angle of depression. All right. So it asked for this angle right here. Well, we already know that we have an opposite leg and we have an adjacent leg. We don't need the hypotenuse, so we're not going to go ahead and calculate it. We could with the Pythagorean theorem, but we're not going to. So we need this angle here, and that involves opposite and adjacent, which means we're working with tangent. So it's going to be the tangent. Now let's talk about what tangent is. Normally we have the tangent of an angle. We ask what's the tangent of 45 degrees, and the answer is one. This time we're looking for the angle. The angle is unknown. So we're going to say that angle is theta. That's just a variable saying we don't know the angle. So the, the tangent of this angle theta is opposite over, hypo, uh, not hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent. So it is 12 sevenths. Now this is not our answer. This simply says, I know the tangent. I need the angle. And when we need the angle, we've got to use inverse tangent. So that's the little tangent to the negative one button on your TI calculator. So using your calculator, you'll hit second tangent 12 sevenths. And when you do that, you're going to see that you get 59.7435. All right, so and my TI software is really acting up or I would show you the screen, but you're going to hit second tangent 12 sevenths. So second, the second button, then you're going to hit tangent. Then you're going to open parentheses and hit 12 divided by 7. And it is going to give you 59 point, let me check again, 7, 4. 
So seven, four degrees. And it said that it wanted us to round to, let's see, wanted us to round to the nearest temp. So that is going to be approximately 59.7 degrees. And that is your angle. So remember, if you're looking for the angle, you need inverse tangent. If you have the angle, then you're going to use your tangent button. I will put together another video on this relatively soon. So keep watching. If you're subscribed to my YouTube, you know you'll get the notification. Until next time, take it easy.